Y'all, we're making chips again. Come on. Welcome to Highfalutin Low Carb, the almost weekly web series where we find and test the best low carb recipes this crazy internet has to offer. Today, we're tackling a viral sensation from several years ago that I somehow missed, cottage cheese chips. Stay tuned. All right, guys, cottage cheese chips. Uh, somehow I missed all this in the shuffle between all the cottage cheese videos, recipes videos we've done and all the chip recipe videos we've done. I've somehow missed this. Some friends asked me in the real life, not here on the channel in a comment, if I had ever had cottage cheese chips. And I was like, no, I don't think so. I did a little research and I saw that uh, our friends, the Keto Twins had actually tested this about a year ago and their review was glowing. So they point back to what appears to be the original recipe, at least online for this. It's by a website called perspectiveportions.com. I'm gonna leave a link here on the screen in the video description below of her original recipe for this, where she took single ingredient cottage cheese and made chips out of it in a skillet, in a non-stick uh, non skillet. In those comments of the video, this has grown into what now is a quick microwavable recipe that within a few minutes, you can have crispy, amazing chips that feel and taste, look, and satisfy that chip crunch. Her original recipe said that she used uh, Trader Joe's cottage cheese. And um, so I went and got some of that. There is speculation among many that some of the additives in the Trader Joe's cottage cheese is what makes it behave this way. The Keto Twins, I mentioned them, they tested this with just organic cottage cheese that didn't have any additives and they didn't have as great a look. Today we're gonna test the cottage cheese by Trader Joe's. It's small curd, 4% milk fat minimum small curd cottage cheese. In addition to that, I just got some uh, cheap Kroger store brand cottage cheese, also small curd, also 4%. It has some additives as well. If this may not behave as easily, you may have to cook it longer if you use a cleaner uh, cottage cheese that doesn't have the air, uh, additives like carrageenans and some of the other things. So before we begin, I need to give a huge thank you though to the sponsor of this video, Thrive. Thrive is an online membership-based grocery store on a mission to make healthy living easy and affordable for everybody. You can search their catalog of thousands of name brand products and sort it by the values that matter most to you. Now for me and for us, that's probably going to be low carb and keto, but it could be vegan, uh, organic, paleo, non-GMO, BPA-free, whatever matters most to you, you can sort their catalog by those values. Um, now, you know that they have been a, a longtime sponsor of the channel. I've actually, on my last order, was curious, how much have I really saved? Because they guarantee savings on every single order. So I'm just gonna put up here on the screen a screenshot uh, from my last order. I've been a member of Thrive since 2016, and they became a channel sponsor, I believe, a couple of years after that. In that time, I have saved $837.68 off of retail. Not spent, saved. That's about $46.54 per order. In addition to that, I've saved about 27 pounds of waste from going into landfills and 91.8 pounds of uh, carbon emissions that have been reduced because they ship from zero carbon neutral warehouses. Like I said, they have uh, savings guaranteed on every order. And if you find some of your favorite products cheaper elsewhere, they will actually match those prices. Now, like a lot of big box discount stores, there is a membership fee to join Thrive Market. Um, you can do a month to month plan just to see if it's for you. I think it's about 12 bucks a month and just sort of get the feel of things. Or you can do like me and go for the annual program. It's $5 a month. I know I'm obviously gonna at least save $5 per order. So for me, it was a no brainer. And at the end of the year, if you haven't saved as much as your membership fee costs, uh, they will actually credit you the difference in that. They have a great deal for viewers of my channel right now. If you will go to thrivemarket.com slash highfalutin low carb, you'll get 30% off your first order and a free gift valued it up to $60. So thank you Thrive for sponsoring this video. It's sponsorships like yours that keep channels like mine on the air. And for that, I'm truly appreciative. So guys, if you want to support me, go support them. Go to thrivemarket.com slash highfalutin low carb. You're going to get 30% off of that first order and a free gift valued it up to $60. All right, let's go start this recipe. Come on. Okay, so this is gonna go quickly, so let's get started on these. Let's do the original recipe with the Trader Joe's. If you take a look here, I've already got these out. I'm gonna add some flavorings in. So I put, these are both the, uh, the um, Trader Joe's. Look how um, drier 
that is than this, the store brand Kroger. There's some uh, more moisture in that, and I would imagine that's probably gonna affect our final result. So I'm gonna do some of these with just the cottage cheese. You're obviously gonna add some flavorings to this if you want. I've picked up some things, Orville Redenbacher's Ranch, um, popcorn seasoning, white cheddar. These are kind of, I guess you could say dirty. They're not so clean. They do have some uh, you know, spicy ingredients um, that you may not prefer, but they're zero carb. Also, I'm gonna use some of the Flavor God nacho cheese seasoning. This is very clean. This is just ground almonds and um, brewer's yeast and spices. And so very clean ingredient by Flavor God, not sponsored, they're just really good. Um, so I'm gonna try some of those. So let's get started first. Goes on a parchment, piece of parchment paper. Uh, okay, I've taken a, just a dry parchment sheet, cut them in half. This is about a half a teaspoon is what uh, the original recipe calls for let me get those out of the way so let's just put a couple of dollops of these down and you just this is going to spread out and this is going to be in your microwave so let's just do two for now and see where we go with that uh, this is going to go in your microwave some people do it on like 50 percent power or 60 percent power and cook it longer some people do it on full power and cook it shorter you're gonna to have to figure out what works for you. This is a, I'm doing an 1100 watt microwave. This is just a builder grade uh, vent microwave whirlpool combo, right? So I'm gonna use that. You're just gonna practice on yours, do a couple of them, see what comes out. But I'm gonna put this in now at full power, high power, and I'm gonna put it in for three minutes. I'm gonna start checking it. Uh, if any bubbles form, I might pop those. Uh, but let's just see where we go with three minutes and I'll be, meet you right back here in just a second while I transfer this to the microwave. Okay, so these are just out of the microwave. Um, that was four minutes at full power four minutes and I'll, I'll cut these sheets in half, right? So that the um, microwave could spin because I'd know that it probably needs to move. And if I use a whole sheet, it can't really move around in there. So however your microwave works, figure that out. Uh, so let's, wow, okay. I kind of thought they'd be darker. So maybe four minutes, wow. Maybe four minutes is, <laughs> that's super. Sounds crispy. Comes right, oops, got all chips all over me. Comes right off of here. So I would imagine, okay, let's put these on a little plate. I'm kind of impressed. That looks like, that looks like a potato chip. So that's just cottage cheese in the microwave, y'all. I mean, I can't believe I'm making a video about that, but uh, who would have thought it, right? I'm pretty sure you can reuse this parchment paper. So I'm just gonna set it to the side. It is a little bit slightly moist. So let's go ahead and see how our others compare. I'm gonna use the same spoon, but this is a half teaspoon measure. This is the Kroger cottage cheese that seems to be a little wetter. Um, so stir it up well. Also, before you dip it out of your container, stir it up because the curds go to the bottom and the, uh, the saline salty cream sits on top. So you wanna make sure you're getting a good cross section of all that. Another half teaspoon in the middle. And I realized also I could probably make more than two on the single sheet of paper uh, because they spread. You saw how much it spread, but I could fit more on there. Oops, let's do this. This is the Kroger brand. I'm gonna put this in. Uh, and while it's microwaving, I'm gonna put it in again for four minutes, just like this. Uh, we'll come back and test these, so be right back. Okay, so what do these taste like? The other one's in the microwave. Now, um, it sounds... Holy cow. Y'all, that's like... My mind is a little bit blown. Obviously we've done this, right? We've done this with little tiny squares of thin sliced cheddar. We've done this with Parmesan cheese and press videos. And all of those are good, but they have a lot of fat residue. Like if this paper were, if we had done, when we did it on the parchment paper in the oven or the microwave, it left an oil slick. This is just dry like a chip would be. Y'all, oh, are you kidding me? And it's salty, like a chip, and I haven't put anything on it because cottage cheese is kind of salty. Holy cow. This one's going to town, hold on. These are the uh, Kroger, the wetter ones. Look, they came out even darker, and that was three and a half minutes at full power. You know, a lot of people are saying that, look at how much they just hang on there. A lot of people are saying that they, they do theirs at half power, but I don't see why you would. Now this spread thinner, look, this spread thinner. 
um, because it's wetter, obviously. I will say it's easy to get off there with a little offset spatula. Just slide, it just appears to slide right under there. These are also so freaking crispy. How, y'all? I'm kind of shook, as the kids would say. Those, I mean, they're not the prettiest thing in the world, but what I miss about, a, like, I admit that I eat, you know, like sandwiches made with keto bread, right? I do. Um, Store-bought keto bread. It doesn't affect me, but I like it. And it's an easy, quick lunch. The thing I miss is a crispy little crunchy something. And in the time that I could slap together a quick sandwich, I could throw a piece of parchment in and get ch chips like that. I, you know, the edges of this one probably need a little bit more cooking. It seems pretty foolproof. Foolproof. Oh my God. Okay, hold on. I'm shocked. I want to add some flavorings to this. That's just cottage cheese. I wouldn't add anything to that. They're only adding salt and pepper and all this stuff to it. I'm sure that's great, but that's salty enough that as it is. Let's see what happens. <laughs> uh, let's do one with ranch and one with our nacho cheese seasoning. So what I've done here, obviously the, the nutrition for this is just uh, whatever your cottage cheese is. Like it's a half cup. You've got four, five, or six usually carbs per half cup. This was, I pulled out four tablespoons in each of these bowls and you're putting half teaspoon measures, right? Little tiny half teaspoons down. So these are minuscule amounts of carbs because you're not, you'd, you'd have to eat a lot of chips to get to, to that. This is four tablespoons of cottage cheese. This is the first, we'll do the Trader Joe's first. And I'm gonna put a, what's this? Half a teaspoon of this ranch powder. There are much better brands that you could get ranch powder, but I was at the grocery store looking to uh, make this video and wanted some, I went in the popcorn area and these are buy one and get one free. So I bought two. And then let's do one with a much better option health wise, the nacho cheese seasoning. I love this stuff by Flavor God. It tastes like Dorito dust. It kind of does. I mean, I ain't gonna lie, it's good. So we'll put it in the, we'll put a half teaspoon in our, the Kroger one and try it. And I also wonder, you know, there's, I get a little bit of joy out of like when you eat like a Dorito, a real nacho cheese with the cheesy Dorito exterior. I wonder if like dusting these when they come out of the microwave, would you get that layer of, of Dorito dust and flavor that lays against your tongue and kind of, you know, gives you the feels. Uh, I wonder if that would be better than mixing it into the actual cottage cheese, but we'll find out. All right, so let's just throw another one of these down and then I'm ready to declare this a success, y'all. I'm ready to I honestly turn the camera off and make me some chips and go sit down and eat. I, I will say that these aren't gonna hold up to um, dips. They're too thin, they're too crispy to hold up to a dip, but I ain't mad about that. So let's put down, let's try one of each. Let's make, I can tell the difference on this one. That's, I'm gonna go a little bit larger. This is a half teaspoon. Let's go about, let's kind of load it up there. And let's do one with the nacho cheese. And I'm gonna put them in for four minutes on high and just watch it. You just gotta watch it. And we'll test these and come back. And uh, I got one other option. I wanna see if it works in a muffin liner. People are talking about it. it's easier to do in a muffin liner and in a single layer on a big plate. So um, I'll be right back. This won't take but a second. Okay, here are our other two. The one that spread out the furthest, this was the nacho cheese that had the Kroger cottage cheese. And this is the ranch with the Trader Joe's. I can tell by how far they spread, which is which. So let's take these out of here. Y'all, I'm, I'm really kind of ex <laughs> a little too excited about this, I guess I could say. <laughs> could say. These are perfect like protein chips. Okay, I'm gonna set these aside. Okay, while that's uh, those are cooling, let's try the other option. One of the big comments was using muffin uh, liners, parchment muffin liners, that these made a perfect shape instead of this misshapen chip, but chips are kind of misshapen anyway. So let's just see how that works out. Um, this could be a, an expensive proposition. Um, I'm gonna use the ones with, uh, it says to use a half a teaspoon, and that's a lot for that little, we'll try one with nacho cheese for that little tiny cut, but apparently it makes a more even size. So I'm gonna throw these in and see where we go with that and be back and taste these. All right, hold on. Uh, here are our ones with the flavorings. I'm sure they're just as good. I mean, come on. Good gracious. 
Ja. One hundred percent, hands down, no holes barred, the best chip replacement I have ever made in seven years of doing this channel. And the easiest. If you don't have a microwave, try it in the nonstick skillet. But I, I can't even believe it. How? I can't even stop eating. That's the ranch. That is so good. Okay, so our muffin cups are out of the microwave. Now the point was here, you're supposed to just pull the sides down and it will break away. And you can lift these out and you get a little, they're kind of puffy a little bit. Um, interesting. And now supposedly you can reuse this uh, liner again. You're gonna have a little work to reshape it into its spot. But those are interesting. I'm gonna let those cool off and crisp up. And the other option was to take a microwavable plate and use a couple of tablespoons of the cottage cheese and spread it out a little bit and cook it on high. And then you can add multiple layers if you want uh, beyond the first layer. Um, so that's one, let's do two. And I'm gonna spread it instead of in a round because these I got a rectangle piece of paper, we're gonna do it. And you would break this up, right? After you've created one large chip, you would break it up. And this one will sprinkle with some of the flavorings to see how it works. So I'm going to put this in because that's two tablespoons instead of half a teaspoon. See where this goes. It may grow beyond the plate. I don't know. I'll be right back and we'll taste these. These are the ones in the muffin tin, the muffin liners. Uh, oh yeah. They got a little pocket of air in them. You can see the powder is going to the bottom. Y'all, these are so good. <laughs> I'm just shocked. I think these are probably a little fiddly because you got multiples. I would probably just use the parchment paper. You can reuse those just like you can these, but whatever, apparently anything will work. This is a very forgiving recipe. And apparently I've just made a video on the internet about cooking cottage cheese and one ingredient, but y'all, these were the best chips I've ever had. Keto. Hold on. Okay, that is very hot, so be careful. I just burned myself almost. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead while it's still a little warm and add some of this white cheddar popcorn seasoning just to see how that works and try to wrestle this loose. Let's get it off of that plate. That plate is hot. Phew, doggies. Okay, so is it any easier to make it like this? Now there's even, so this, would, this is one chip. This was four minutes at high and it was two tablespoons of cottage cheese. And there's talk of like cooking this for like halfway through, adding another tablespoon of cottage cheese, spreading it out, cooking it another minute and add multiple layers and watching it carefully and then letting it get crispy. And it's almost like a cracker, a super thick layered cracker, uh, super crunchy, I mean. So that's also very interesting, but I'm ready to declare all of this. <laughs> it gets a little brown on the bottom, which is kind of like a chip, right? You hear that? I know you do, y'all. And it's got the dust on it like the... I like the seasoning sprinkled on it instead of mixed in. All right, bye. -bye. All right, y'all. Um, Cottage cheese chips, I'm shocked, I'm shocked. This is one of the best things, one of the easiest things I've ever made. I will keep cottage cheese in my refrigerator forever for this reason alone. Late night on the sofa, watching a movie, throw in a little piece of parchment paper, a few tablespoons of cottage cheese. Holy cow, it's just a protein blast and a flavor blast. If you're using salt, pepper, garlic powder, traditional seasonings, I'd probably mix it in with the liquid cottage cheese before putting it in. If you're gonna use it like a coating, like uh, these um, that are meant as a flavor dust afterwards, like a popcorn seasoning or the nacho cheese seasoning, sprinkle it on while they're still fresh out of the microwave, while they're still hot and let it crisp up. The, it's just a flavor blast to the tongue, so. There you have it, uh, perfect proportions, I believe. No, what was uh, what was the name of it? 
hold on, I've already forgotten the name, perspectiveportions.com. Uh, you're genius, you're genius. It takes people just experimenting and cooking things that we wouldn't normally cook in ways that we've normally never cooked them to discover something as genius as these crispy little protein chips. So there you have it, folks. Uh, I say it all the time, these videos are a way for me to maintain my low carb way of eating. And looking in the end of that camera as often as I can helps keep me honest. So I appreciate that you guys have come along for the journey. I'm gonna ask you now to please click the thumbs up below if you like this video. Also hit the subscribe button and make sure you're subscribed. Hit the bell button down below so you're notified just as soon as I release a new video. I can release fairly randomly sometimes, I realize. Also follow me over on uh, Facebook and Instagram. It's just highfalutin low carb over there on both of those spots. I talk a little more frequently, a little more freely, talk about what I'm eating during the day and other quick little recipes and ideas like this. So please check me out over there. I also need to again thank my sponsor of this video, Thrive Market. Um, I say it all the time, sponsorships aren't why I do this, they're how I do this. And sponsorships like Thrive help keep channels like mine on the air. So please visit thrivemarket.com slash highfalutin low carb. You'll get 30% off your first uh, box and a free gift up to $60 on that first order. So lastly, I need to thank my rock stars, uh, my Patreon members. You're going to see their names start to scroll over here. Without them, none of this would be possible. If you don't know what Patreon is, uh, think of it as the tip jar for the internet. You can give a dollar or two just to sort of help keep the train on the tracks as it were. So with that, I love you guys very much. I'll see you very soon in the next video. And remember, today is a great day to have a great day.